Holy shit, Case. Oh, you ever think about how the fuck we actually move from one damn spot to another? Zeno's got these brain-melting puzzles. Achilles can never catch the tortoise if space and time are infinitely divisible. How the fuck does that not screw up sprinting and burrito retrieval? Bro, I yell at my screen when I lose a match, but this? So you're saying even if I'm bigger than planets and run like a freight train, some slow-ass tortoise could always stay ahead? Does that mean my steakhouse burrito would stay out of reach forever? Why did they discontinue it, and why does philosophy hurt my brain? Jesus Christ, your stomach is a philosopher now. The point is, Zeno slices motion into infinite mini-steps, half the distance, then half of that, and so on. If you must finish infinitely many steps, how the hell do you finish in finite time? But math says those halves can sum to a finite distance. So which premise is the lying motherfucker here? Wait, so infinite steps can add up to a normal distance? Like eating an infinite series of tiny fries equals one full order? Am I allowed to gulp that in finite time? Does Thompson's lamp mean I could toggle my gaming light infinite times before dinner and still eat at eight? Exactly, weird as hell. The lamp thought experiment asks whether infinite actions in finite time leave a sensible result. Does the lamp end on or off? That forces us to question what completing an infinite process even means. Do you accept actual infinities happening, or is continuity just a mental trip? So are we saying the universe might be discrete, tiny, indivisible chunks, or continuous like my love for fries? If it's discrete, could things swap places without passing each other? That stadium puzzle made my head spin. How the fuck can two objects swap left-right without being even at some moment? That's the stadium. If time slash space are discrete, apparent swapping without an intermediate moment seems impossible, implying motion's impossible. So what's real? Continuous divisibility with weird sums, or discrete points with paradoxical swaps? Which explanation feels less like cosmic bullshit to you? Huh. Less bullshit equal sign better for burrito retrieval. But which one lets me actually grab food? If both sound like philosophy gymnastics, maybe we just accept motion and eat. Still, how would you test whether space is made of tiny blocks or smooth gravy? Now you ask the right goddamn question. How would we experimentally decide? What counts as evidence that motion is fundamental, not illusory?